Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning, and for that matter, a great day. As you can see, we're back here in Genshin Impact. Today, I wanted to continue on with the event. Um, today, instead of going after all the act quest things, I wanted to actually partake in the, like, small mini-games of each event. You know the Autumn Crisis, the High Wind Trials, and all that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, you know what to do. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so how are we gonna start today's event? I think we should probably start with one of the three, or one of the four. You know, why, why not? Let's start with Charity and Creativity. Just go to the quest. Navigate and let's get over there. Go on about <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I'm I'm trying out some new things and I was testing things out. So if uh my position and size may change, don't worry too much. I'm trying to figure out what works best. You know. Anyway, we were. Hi there, Georg. We should be your main agent. He's asked us to order fifty crates of fruit. Yeah, we were asked to do stuff with the charity, which requires us to purchase certain things from certain people. But in order to purchase those things, we have to go and barter with them. So it's this fun little bartering mini game that we get to do. But yeah, no. Okay. Oh, did you say Shaverme? He's a regular customer of mine. Always orders around the same amount each time. Yeah. I digress. What price are you offering this year? Hmm. Do I get to actively see his mood? More on hand, I have 17k. I an offer up to 14k. I probably don't want to do that. Maybe subtract 2k off? Or maybe a k? You know, just minus 1,000. See how he reacts to just a tiny bit, a tiny bit underselling. Hmm, a little lower than I was hoping for, but he's a reliable customer. I think I can make it work. Okay, usual, I guess I, I did win out, but the goods not necessarily place of business. what he liked. You won't have to worry about a thing. Just make sure you keep hold of this receipt. Okay, right, okay. Let's keep bringing the funds in. We've got to work quickly if we want to gather all these fair brood jellies in time. Yeah. Fairguard says we can approach this however we want, just as long as we raise all the funds we need. We get okay. commission for every order we help place for an international customer, so maybe it's not worth trying to sell loads of ingredients to the wine merchants. So, what are you planning, Paimon? We've covered everything. Let's take a look at the other wine merchants. Okay, okay. So, we get a small commission off of the fees, but we're trying to, like, find out the best way to sell things. Okay, so we're gonna try to sell other commissions instead. Hmm, I don't necessarily know who we have in mind. Looking for other wine merchants, I guess? Traveler, Paimon, you're here! Hi, Barbara. Hey, it's Barbara! Hi, Barbara. <laughs> That's not at all what I said. I just said hi. I'm so happy I ran into you guys here. I hope you have a great time. I won't. Now that I've seen you. I heard from Bernhard that you're collecting fair brew jellies. Yes. Just curious. Are you helping out with the Knights of Favonia's charity event? Actually, conveniently enough, that is what I'm doing. The stall isn't up and running yet. We're busy raising funds so they can open for business. Mm hmm There's sure to be a bunch of other problems to deal with once it's open, but whatever comes up, we'll deal with it. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> They're lucky to have you. Now that you've joined the team, I just know it'll be a huge success. Thanks, Barbara. I appreciate your kind words. I helped out a small charity sale for the nights once, too. Although... My only contribution was standing out front and singing. Oh. oh. And I also met the bard, Venti, there. 
He even persuaded me to perform an impromptu song with him. Okay. I bet that was pretty good, if I had to guess. At first, Barbara and Venti sing? sing too loudly in case I ruined the style he was going for. Nah. But he sang a harmony to guide me in, and before long, we were sounding great. That's good. In the end, the audience loved it, and we sold a lot at the event. I'm glad. So Barbara's worked with the Tone Get Bard before? I wish I could have been there to hear it. No, no, I personally do not care. Yeah. Too bad I like Barbara, don't get me wrong, sir. I don't hate you. I just don't like you. you during the festival, at all. Which means I have to go to rehearsal. Okay, I mean, take care. Yep, sounds like we've each got our own important work to do. Let's give it our all! Oh, thank you both. I'll make sure that the charity works out. Sing, but I still want to do a little something to contribute. Okay, can, what what's the plan? Um, I can help promote your stall. That mm. sounds I make some big posters? Good enough to me, Maybe I guess. Some flyers to hand out. I'll have to pick a memorable slogan too. And maybe it'll seem more sincere if I sign them. Hmm. Then again, Maybe telling people in person would be more effective. Who knows? Wow. With Barbara helping out on the marketing side, this charity event will get lots more attention. It does sound like a lot of effort, though. And honestly, the less I have to spend with Barbara, the better, so... It's fine. Really. It won't take me too long. <laughs> guys, I'm guys, I don't hate Barbara. I just strongly, <laughs> strongly, <laughs> strongly <laughs> dislike her. people about their marketing experience. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie, Barbara. Paimon, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Hopefully not too soon. And, um, the Knights and the Church of Pavonius are really proud of you. Thanks. Means a lot coming from you. Aw, thanks! We'll do our best! Paimon Thank you, Paimon, for actually ever. being <laughs> sincere. <laughs> Okay, the charity event. There are two methods of gathering funds for the charity by selling wine ingredients to the wine merchants uh, or helping Outlander customers collect service fees. Okay, so I have two ways forward for this event. Hmm. Okay, I see. So I have a bunch of quests and like... I have quests and then I have locations. Hmm. Okay, I, I think I can get this. Okay, the beverage shop on the pier. I have to go to Leeway Harbor for that one. Okay, Quinchy, how may I take your service? Um, I'll start you guys off with a pot of tea. Thanks, but we're not here for drinks. We're here to buy ingredients or sell you ingredients or something like that we're doing commission stuff to try to raise stuff for a charity so I, I don't know okay cat's tail I ordered 25 cases of mint berry ooh no worries don't worry, we'll have your order ready here soon. I guess we now have to obtain... Okay, we get the money from the merchants and then we go and buy the stuff from... So we're just acting as a middleman. But you know, we're just acting as a middleman between the merchants and the actual drinks themselves. Hello. We're here for your 25 mint berry cases. For leeway? That's assuming that you have 25 cases. Um. Okay, prices. So, I have 20... I mean, that that's already a pretty decent commission. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna only cut off, like... I'm gonna say 500... Maybe, maybe like 800, you know, cut off. 
around even 800. Good price? You've got a deal? Yeah. Just cutting off a solid 800 extra, you know. I mean, I had some funds, extra funds lying around, so making an invoice like that wouldn't have been a bad idea. Okay, we made your commission. We cut off around even 800. Of course, we're not going to tell you that directly because, you know. Uh, no need. We are just cutting off commission fees, you know. Okay, I'm assuming you had ordered some booze from Onstat as well. Hello. We are here to, um, a hundred cases. That's a pretty hefty order. That was quick. I mean, a hundred cases are, you know, I'm sure we could secure that for a pretty hefty amount of money. And maybe we can cut off a couple thousand off the top. That assuming, of course, that we're not going to get the money right away, you know. Do you happen to have a uh, hundred cases of I don't even remember the drink name because I didn't read it? Yes, we're back. Ah, Fruit of the Festival. Okay, I know this guy's kind of stingy, so I have 30,000. I don't think offering 24 is great. Maybe like 22, maybe 23. Let's go for 22,000. Try to lowball him a tiny bit more. I know that he's been like, you know, he's been awfully kind about it, but 22,000. You drive a hard bargain. I mean, we just keep... I guess we keep making off with the steel, cutting off just a tiny bit extra every time. So we made some actual bank here. That last purchase, we made like... Mm, what was it? Like 8,000? Almost 10,000 Mora? It was pretty good. I mean, if we keep lowballing him like that, he may not be as appreciative and his mood may sour a tiny bit. Uh, I'd like to sell you some wine ingredients. Ooh, I get to money make the money directly. I see. Oh, I can sell you up to five of each of these? Of course I'm gonna sell you five of every one of these. I mean, I haven't had to upgrade a character from Mondstadt in a long time. Just like that, 9,000. Enjoy your wine ingredients. And I assume that I sell you some as well. Hello? I'd like to sell, you know, I'd like to make more money than the thing requires. Because it is a charity effort, you know. Ooh, hefty pricing on the, uh, selling the dandelion seeds. Hmm. Yep, looks like we've got enough funds now. Let's go see Bernhard. <laughs> yeah, we made plenty enough cash. Oh, now we get to actually manage the stall. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stall management. That, that does not sound very, uh, very wonderful. <laughs> Already? Wow, you sure work fast. Everything in place. We just need to open up the shop All now. Right. Our suppliers are ready and waiting. Uh, just give me a moment. Okay. <sighs> what do you think? Not bad, huh? I mean, it of looks course, all right. In a creative mood at any point. Feel free to redecorate the place however you Ooh, want. I get to... Oh. It's great! Really looks Ooh. the part. Uh, the, the shop definitely needs a name, though. How about, uh, Favonian goods? Goodies. Um, what do we need to do next? Hey, a little feedback on the name, please. A nod of the head, perhaps. I mean, the okay. Was a monumental task. There you go, Paimon. 
So don't worry about all you those get your nod of the head. Be you happy now? I'll handle those. You both have more experience than me. It'd be great if you could figure out the more managerial level things like our sales strategy, SOPs, USPs, QC principles, KPIs. I don't know any of those. Uh, I've got to be honest. I hear other store owners using these terms, but I can't say I really know what they mean. I don't know I either. Just know they're important. <laughs> which means they're probably best dealt with by you. So in other words, we'll be the shop owners who make the big business decisions, and you'll be the shop assistant doing all the actual day-to-day -day work? That actually yep. sounds My strength is in execution. Your pretty shop, well, your you know? I am but a tool to be used however you see fit. Very selfless. I see that. Um, that sounds a little extreme. This is for charity, remember? We're not some cutthroat business executives. <laughs> But All right. Why I'm on. Go ahead and if we make side, Bernhard, the two of us need to touch base on strategy. Okay, okay. What is our strategy here? Okay, we have a clear corporate mission statement. Our goal is to become the best darn snack shop in the whole festival. Snack market. shop. Now let's all prepare Ooh. to give hundred and ten percent as we receive our first customers. We're open for Hello. business. Bye, Mom. Ooh. Ooh. It's Fischl and Mana. Or Mona. Mona. Sorry, I keep Fischl. calling her Mana. You came to check out the market, huh? Hmm. One was wise to follow one's intuition and ask Lady Magistus to join the princessin on a tour of this folk festival. I, I really like you, Fischl. Extraordinary events may yet unfold, even on this unexceptional autumn day. Splendid. Most splendid. Most splendid Lady indeed. Fraulein is battling hard to suppress the euphoria in her voice. Seeing you here has put her in the most wonderful mood. That's good. Oz. She, Oz. Seeing her Oz. here has put me in a wonderful Oz. mood. <laughs> Maybe you should leave me to do the explaining. Not long ago, Her Highness had a very nice dream and took it as a sign that mm. something good was about to happen. Naturally, Her Highness's first thought was to come to me for some astrological guidance on the matter. Okay, okay. She also noticed that the Vinelesa Fest was in full flow and asked if I was interested in checking it out with her. Okay. I, of course, agreed. I can take advantage of the festival period discounts to purchase some bulk supplies for my <laughs> present uh. writing spree. I must admit, without Her Highness's reminder, the Vine Lisa Fest may well have completely passed me by. And may I ask you why you do Lady not pay Magistus, your rent? Might Her Highness I mean, not like you, you have much rent to pay. The speak occurred no less than nine days ago. And that only after awaiting Lady Magistus's return letter. In vain for all this time did one have no recourse but to rap most furiously upon the door to thy abode. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's been nine days already? Nine days! Oh god, what don't remind me. In light of the great importance this manuscript has to you, Lady Magistus, one shall not hold thy inattentiveness to the uh, passage of time against thee. Dude, passing but of I time is always horrible. I hate when I go, it's been nine days? Overflowing mailbox outside your door. There appear to be many others whose letters go unanswered. Wow, Mona. You are so immersed in your research that you forgot all about the time, stopped checking your mail, and almost missed out on a huge festival. Sometimes it's uh, important to not be disturbed. <clears throat> anyway, time is of the essence. I have a lot of bulk buying to do. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's quite a surprise to see you running your own shop. And a snack shop at that. The most important kind. Yeah, oh, yeah. Actually, we're just helping someone else out. <laughs> Feel free to browse around. Um, is there anything you'd like to purchase? Let me think. Uh, can you recommend anything that uh, goes well with a drink? Sure can. If you got the hangries, then look no further. Just that time and check the... Uh, wait a sec. Goes well with a drink. Uh-oh. Is the writing going that badly? You know drinking isn't gonna solve your problems, right? As it happens, Main Fräulein has been visiting Mona quite frequently as of late. 
It is possible that Lady Magistus is feeling the pressure from the constant interruptions. Hey, Kim Bear. Oh, no. <laughs> like that. This has nothing to do with drinking or with Fischl's visits. You all need to calm down. Of course not, no. Recently, her highness invited me to try her signature cold cut platter. Uh, sorry, I mean, de heilige symphonie. Ooh. Such a unique taste and every bite was so sumptuous. Before I realized it, I had finished the entire plate. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, an empty plate is the highest compliment you can give to the chef. Honestly, honestly. The Olega Zinfoni is an excellent dish. It's filling, full of energy, and has a long shelf life. And it is, in almost every respect, a far superior dish to the so-called satisfying salad. The sole exception being the steep price. I can imagine. Fortunately, however, the Vinalesa Fest is upon us. A festival during which not only are wines sold at discounted prices, but also wine-related food products. Okay, so are you insinuating that we may be able to offer you something Rejoice, like that? Lady Magistus. That dish was but a spontaneous creation, hastily made in a moment of need while on a royal excursion. You shall have many opportunities to enjoy far finer culinary delights than this. Oh. The main Fräulein means to say that this dish represents a mere fraction of her full capabilities. Oh. But of course. A bit of a chef. Far for me to suggest that the true breadth of Her Highness's culinary brilliance can be displayed in a single dish. Of course not. Of course However, not. However, I cannot expect the sovereign to serve her subject. Uh, what I mean is, I can't keep letting you cook for me when you're a guest in my home. Of course At not. Least, I mean, I have something more a little bit, but... For when people come around, with any luck, I'll be able to find something to your taste here. Huh? Mona, is that really what this is all about? Main Fräulein, might I suggest alternative phrasing that would be more faithful to your style? Perhaps... Long had I foreseen this, or thou needst not fret over thy affinity for salad. <clears throat> Most indeed, Lady Magistus, you have a long special so cute mission of your princess. Devote yourself to deciphering the secrets of the starry sky. You need not spend precious hours in search of additional ways to delight me. Don't worry. I won't always be as busy as this. It'll be quite nice to work on some other skills when I have the time. In that case. Allow Favonian goodies to be the solution to your troubles. In addition to our range of ready to eat drinking snacks, we also have a wide variety of semi prep dishes for sale. Why not get a few of each kind? Wow, we're really There's using our own friendship to sell money or sell to sell money. To sell food and merchandise. We can't just like wait a second. Your hands, you'll be ready to challenge yourself with some trickier dishes. We can even come and help if you want. The traveler is really good at yeah, cooking. Yeah. Be no problem. I'm also a bit of a cook in real life. I I do like going a little by the books, in my own opinion. I, I don't like straying away too much from recipes, like direct recipes, but I fully acknowledge that that is not necessarily a bad thing, rather than having something completely go to disarray. Pardon me. Fischl rubs off on me very easily. <laughs> uh, whenever I hear her talk a lot like this, I just, I, I can't help myself. Anyway, um, yeah, a piece of cake. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm almost tempted to increase my budget now. Oh? Lady Magistus. Your princessin awaits your culinary masterpiece with great anticipation. Of course, of course. Please keep Paimon's suggestion in mind and allocate your time wisely. Yeah, time management is <laughs> horrible. The next time you dine at my home, I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. Okay. May I join in? <laughs> Pavonian Goodies has just completed its first sale! A small sale. 
Ah, it's a major minor. Uh, it's a major milestone. In my opinion, honestly, it is a bit of a major milestone. The first one's always the biggest one, right? Like, even if you don't make it big right away, the first one's the one that matters the most. Just keep going, and you're sure to make success somewhere. Oh, so now I get to choose... Um, after the shop is open, talk to him. Um... Before uh, you get to distribute the funds. Okay, so I get to decide how much certain things get focused. This is literally just running a shop. <laughs> um, while running a shop, you'll see some emergencies and unexpected situations. Dealing with these issues, uh... As they crop up in time, you will be rewarded using the shop's statements. Okay, so occasionally bad things will happen, and if we go and deal with such bad things, we will be rewarded, which is a very cool mechanic. Okay, now I have to deal with the actual strategy myself. Okay, I'd like to open up shop. How may I change the cycle? We have 2,000 gems to allocate. Obviously, there's a minimum amount that we want to allocate to everything because, of course, the two things that I think are going to be, oh, wait, wait, is that the most we can allocate? Yeah, we don't have any more funds. So meeting the minimum standard on everything is probably the best idea. Of course, we could obviously, you know, lower uh, holistic services and business efficiency for goods quality, but I think having the bare minimum of everything is a good basis to start out with. Okay, we made about 50. Just the tiniest bit of profit. That's good. Next cycle. We have two, 2,025 now to deal with. Um, I'm gonna focus on trying to get our quality up. Just because I genuinely think that having a better quality rather than all of the business side of things is probably a good thing. Um, yeah, no. Let's just go with that. We made a tiny bit more profit. That's good. I mean, maybe upping our quality did just a slight bit better. Okay. There's an emergency. Honorary night. Uh, running the shop for a while. Operation methods. The st shop. It's fine. Business style. Okay, so we have a different sort of... We need to find our own style. It's time to put it into practice. Okay, so we're actually now putting in our own ideas. So now I get to choose different things. You wish to unlock a statement slot? Yes. What is the statement of our shop? Quality? We have quality products increased by large amounts, while business efficiency and holistic services are decreased by a small amount. Uh, or steady hand. Uh, product quality will be increased by a middling amount, which is not very good. Um, I want to increase our holistic services by a tiny bit. That way we can, you know, benefit the most. Um, and then probably increase... Start with that. And then in open up a secondary slot and then go with middling amounts for that. That way we can off balance everything. So our holistic services are way up and our product quality is also way up. I feel like this is the best way to earn a good fortune. Okay, we that's some hefty earnings right there. Next cycle. I actually am really enjoying this so far. 
Just the minor, minute detail shifting is just a cool concept to me. Okay, there's an unexpected situation. The unexpected, uh, supply shortage. Um, product quality target, um, more stingent. Okay, so now there's a quality shortage. So rather than increasing the quality by a middling amount, can we change that and make it a large amount and then change our services to middling? There we go. So we just put a tiny bit more into quality, increase quality a ton, and then counter oppose that by building up all our other other cert and then we counter that all by you know increasing our other services a ton which is good in my opinion our quality is really good we're skyrocketing in profit okay 38,000 Ooh, I unlocked a visitor Ooh, so I can now select one of my friends of course Addy uh, of course I'm gonna pick Addy um I could probably switch from that to steady and then just bump up our services and then quality skyrocket to the moon I just care about quality who needs business efficiency and uh like hospitality when we have just the best quality ever I've obtained new strategies. You know, let's let's live with the idea that the future will be a thing, you know. Because uh, I'm going to have it so our quality is just increased by a slight amount. But in the future, if anything bad happens, we get a boost. A super boost to quality. We're just being a bit more cautious. And I think being cautious is a good idea. Um, yeah, I gained another strategic thing. So now I can have another mission statement, which is really good. Uh, what's my last mission statement? Um, we do need a large help to our efficiency. So business management. Yeah. And then just pour it all into quality. That's my real idea here, is just have everything be poured into the quality of the store. Because if the, if the store's got good, you know, some really good goods, you know, does it really matter? Okay, it's cycle eight. An unexpected situation. Um... Quality sampling. So, an unexpected situation happened, but because we had a bit of our st stuff put in investments, our quality didn't drop at all. In fact, it actually only got better. Okay, now that we're putting- we're almost at the cap of quality products, which I'm super excited about, because I, I want those products to be pristine. Um, is there an emergency? An unidentified man came uh, quietly into the store. Oh, he do he donated us some goods. I mean, I don't know. Do you trust a random person that you've never met who just comes into your store and is nice to you? Better check the packaging. It's best to be safe and just have everything be checked over and made sure that it's all good. It is good to get a mystery. Okay, we got a new change. We got feedback now. Um... Ooh, when quality is hit, we'll get a small feedback bonus. Oh, the, our, our quality is already hit. Um, our first one, it's best to be safe, but, you know, let's take away this and put in the quality. Efficiency, what are we wanting to do for efficiency? I was just middling amount and then 
The one that increases everything else slightly. I guess put some extra into hospitality for next time. Actually, um, remove some cap out that, you know. It, wait, is that capped? I think that's capped. We have capped quality, which is pretty good in my opinion. Ooh, 900. Or 9,000. We're definitely making some bank. I think that this is the last cycle, if I remember. But, I don't know. Just... 10,000 for a snack store. That's really good. So what do you think? What do you think of my store? Oh, night. Paimon. Good news. We have some new helpers. Some new helpers? How may I help These you? These store owners heard about our charity sale. They want to donate their earnings and join us. Ooh. What? A donation? Are you sure? Absolutely. Each extra donation means one extra person getting the help they need. Both Pauline and I. I mean, we've already made bank. More money you know, for this charity, needed. which is a good this thing. Fine laser fest is busier than previous years, so we met our target earnings more quickly than we expected. Okay. That's enough for us. It doesn't seem right to leave the important task of caring for our most vulnerable to you alone. We just want to help however we can. We are Please, extremely grateful. That's the least we can do. Yeah. Aw, this is the warmest, fuzziest feeling. Hmm. But this does mean we'll have to change the name of our shop. Uh, how about Favonian Goodies and Buddies? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Favonian goods and buddies. Definitely uh, an interesting shop name. Fresh flowers and general goods. Folks, grab bargains at Favonian goodies and buddies. Is that Albedo? Is he just gonna casually stroll up? Huh? Hey, look, it's Albedo! Hello, Albedo. <laughs> Random seeing you here. Um, welcome to our store. Looking to buy anything in particular, Albedo? I'm not in dire need of anything right now. I just oh. heard that you were running the Knights of Favonia stall and thought I'd come over. Okay. As it happens, Timaeus and I made some progress in our research recently, so I took the opportunity uh, to bring you a batch yes. of our finished product. Ooh! Consider our contribution to the charity effort. Thank you! Uh, Honestly, let's it's very it. appreciated. Got bottles of... Wait, Let, let's be honest, I'm just doing it to see the numbers go up. I don't really care about how much money I generate for the charity, I just want the numbers to go up. <laughs> My brain is... He who monkey brain. Let's get numbers to go up. I mean, of course it's all going to charity, so that's a good thing. It must have been a while since I demonstrated my capabilities to you. Probably. I most likely wouldn't have had any interest in research like this in the past. Okay. But now, I think that it's worthwhile using alchemy to make people's lives easier in small ways like this. Especially <laughs> in ways that help people. Well, I assume so, because Paimon never been drunk before, but plenty of our customers probably have been. Yeah. It would definitely ruin the mood if someone fell into the lake or tripped over a rock after having one too many glasses of festive cheer. Yeah, it would definitely help to have something yeah, around. Angel, you should take some snacks back with you and share them with Clee. It's on the house. All right, then. Uh, I shan't refuse. I had no idea you two had such keen business sense. Um, it's a sad yeah, keen business sense. sense. There's a festive mood all around, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the division of labor is eminently sensible. If any Definitely not the just making the number show, go up. It would be a much more, uh, generic operation. Wow, getting complimented by Albedo <laughs> It's appreciated. Sobriety potion when you wake up with the groggy head. I anyway, guess like you know that's a unique way of putting it, Paimon. 
Well, I provided a dozen or so landscape paintings for a previous charity event, also run by the Knights of Avonius. Okay. You must have been worth a fortune. Well, the people buying them certainly thought so. Some felt that my painting style was a rare one worth investing in, and offered a large sum of money for each work. That works this, out. Plus, the sizable profits made from auctioning some of my still life paintings seemed to give Alice an idea. Oh. She used her personal connections to apply for some sort of certification for my artwork. I believe they call it a copyright. copyright. Later, many artists began to imitate my landscape paintings, and they became a common sight throughout Mondstadt. That's some. That sounds familiar. According to the rules of the copyright that Alice applied for, the artists need to pay me a portion of their revenue for each landscape painting of this style that they sell. I know Love copyright very well. My goals. <laughs> I don't very, care where the very goes, well. So I entrusted it to the Knights of Favonius and let them manage it. I Albedo, I'm not going to have any of your artwork in any of my videos. Created. It will be blurred out <laughs> from now till the end of time. But from what I hear, they use it all on charitable initiatives, which is also a noble cause. Yes. You never cease to amaze, Albedo. Though it was hardly my original intention, I have come to embrace my unexpected philanthropic achievements. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, doing anything to help a charity is a uh, good thing. <laughs> well then, I will be returning to the workshop. Thanks for your contribution. Best of luck. Good luck with your research. Come again when you're free. Okay, now I have three stores to manage. How wonderful. I don't know how much I have to make now to, like, benefit. Ah, there's a... Well, that does change things. I have three new stores to manage. I'm becoming, like, an enterprise. Going from, like, a small business to, like, growing, like, mad. Oh, so do I now have to balance all the revenue of every other business as well? Definitely touch you up there. Um, can't, like, subtract by any means. I guess my quality stuff only goes up. Okay, right, everything is met, right? Um, I'm gonna try managing you with you. Can I... Does each one have a manage? Ooh, each one has a management? Ooh, but you can only have one management per thing. I don't know... I don't know why you can't, like... Cancel out, but whatever. Definitely have some product quality up on you. And increase your product... You know, your quality of your product up. I could increase your business efficiency, but it's fine. She is lagging behind a tiny, tiny bit, and I'll need to, you know, course correct. So, I'll have the main one be the cautious one. Um, you don't really seem to need a lot of quality. Your biggest issue is of, of business efficiency. Um, definitely... Yeah, have that one be increased a bit, and then just increase that one manually. Well, you obviously need a bit more business efficiency, so I'm going to pour a bunch of money into making your business efficiency good. Now I rounded out all the stores, made them equal. A new strategy has been unlocked. Um, I definitely want to open you up and have your, uh, what was it? Your product quality. I want it to be raised a middling amount. That way I can cut back on your cost. Do it in business efficiency since that is the main thing you're falling behind in. General goods is really the one that's growing the most. I mean it does make some sense. So who's falling behind the most? You? I'm going to try to get you to have a service thing as well.
Definitely making money now. Unlocked another ability. So now I can unlock another business statement on you, in my opinion. I think that's probably the best idea. Now what am I going to want? So you have an efficiency statement. You should probably worry about... What are you falling behind in? Nothing other than efficiency. Um... I have you doing quality middlingly. So I'll have you be service middlingly. The only one falling behind now is my snack store, sadly. Perhaps that's because snack stores have a way of being very good early on and falling off in the later. You were falling behind, so let's let's give you another one. What don't you have a statement for? Efficiency? Um... Increase everything slightly. Okay. 30,000. How'd it turn out? Main store's falling behind still. Kinda rough. How many cycles there are, I wonder? If it's 20 cycles, making 100,000 is going to be kind of rough. Um, what do you need? A quality statement? Yeah, raise everything very slightly. Have you go in there. Increase quality a ton. And you know what I'm going to do? Hard investment on quality. Just because. And then... What have you been struggling in? Hospitality? There you go. That way general goods is just slightly behind now. Damn, snack store doing really well now. I think investing in one thing is probably just a good idea. Just hit the bare minimum caps and then just invest in one thing in one store. <laughs> Just hardcore investing into the snack store now. I, I probably shouldn't and try to fixate on balancing everyone out, but it's a very subtle increase in money, but it's an increase in money nonetheless. T cycle 20. Um, didn't exactly reach my goal of hitting 100,000 before 20. Perhaps there's a way about it. You. You get our business manager. Hey, funny enough. It all works out. The maxed out quality. Okay, next cycle. Are we just going until we make 100,000? Is that how it works? Everyone really just has one stat that they really need super high. Which is convenient, because that way you can, like, balance it out all accordingly. Business efficiency, get you up there. And then I'm gonna focus on getting your business efficiency finally capped out. Uh... You honestly don't have that many hospitality issues. All, all charity sale target achieved. Check report. Total learnings? That's a lot. A ton of cycles done. We sold a ton of stuff. It worked out really well. Of course I get a crown too, which is always really nice. That probably wasn't the best thing funnest thing to watch because it was really just me clicking buttons and optimizing things. Hey look, it's Yola and Amber. That's... Hey look, it's the gay women. <laughs> uh, found you. What's up, Yola? Huh? Wait! You came here looking for us? Of course! Do you have any idea how popular your charity stall is? Everyone's oh. been talking about it. Favonian goodies and buddies, run by the honorary knight and their sidekick, is selling all kinds of fantastic treasures, and even giving away some wonderful others for free. Don't- uh, So after all that, Paimon's back to being the sidekick? <laughs> the sidekick. Still, Paimon's really happy to hear 
that people are giving good reviews. It's all thanks to our customers. Anyway, what have you two been up to these days? Did you go off on a trip or something? We <laughs> That's because we're still working. Huh? You still have to work? I mean, someone has to look after the festival grounds, Paimon. Technically, Amber and I are on a vacation schedule. There are more merchant caravans than usual traveling the route between Dormanport and Mondstadt City during the festival. Okay. Extra traffic means extra security is required. Because of monsters and bandits and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yes. The reconnaissance company is tasked with patrolling this route during the festive period, as well as traveling with the caravans to ensure essential goods are delivered without incident. We have to investigate suspicious locations to eliminate any emerging threats. Okay. <sighs> that seems like a lot of work. Sounds like you'll be working non-stop around the clock right up until the end of the Vine Lisa Fest. Of course not. We take shifts. While one team is on duty, another is resting, and a third team is on standby in case of emergencies. Yeah. These three teams rotate periodically. You it's a smart system. Captain. She arranged everything this way so that the reconnaissance company can meet the intense demand during the festival. Just stretching. Still giving everyone a chance it's good to, to stretch. Gotta say, great organizing, Eula. Honestly, yes, good right, job, Amber. Eula. I did my job like I always do. I really don't see what the fuss is all about. Quite the glowing review, Outrider. <laughs> That's not the half of it. When you've got the time, I should tell you the story of when Eula got made captain. Now that's a good one. Probably. <clears throat> anyway, we didn't come here just to chit chat. I'll let Eula do the honors. Uh oh. Okay. I need 40 portions of Night Special Northern Smoked Chicken and 40 of Favonia's favorite pile em up. That's such a huge order! What's the occasion? Wait, are the Knights of Favonius having an official feast? How come nobody told us about it? <laughs> Nothing quite as glamorous as all that. Captain Eula wants some supplies to reward her team members Okay. With. Correct. Scouts use up an enormous amount of energy in a single day. Each meal, they eat enough to feed... Hmm... Four to five normal people. Plus, a long-standing member has recently returned to our ranks after a long absence. I thought it would be fitting to celebrate the occasion. Yeah, of makes the total sense bought, to me. I thought it would be best to have the money go to you. That way, I can support a charitable cause while I'm at it. Paimon agrees. You made the right decision, Yula. It's what we business owners call a win-win situation. Thank you for your genuine, uh, generous uh, contribution. Also, about this long-standing member you mentioned. Is it that guy we met recently? Mika. The front line Ooh, leader. Mika. He was a vital member of our team before the Grandmaster borrowed him for the expedition. Mika! Yeah, that's the one! Paima never would have thought that shy little guy was such a strong knight. But he seems to be scared of us. Mika's not afraid of you guys. That was I don't know. showing respect to you. He seemed Although, afraid. Admittedly, it is kind of a roundabout way of doing it. He thinks all mighty he seemed have very afraid. personalities and prefers to understand what makes them tick and the way they think before properly interacting with them. He says it makes it easier to communicate that way. He was the same way with me and Amber at first. As we gradually got to know each other, he started acting more naturally. Okay. Interesting. So he's like, like testing Mika's us. Unique personality. I'll remember that. Mm -hmm. It'll just take a little time, that's all. You are a high-profile figure within the Knights of Favonius. As his commanding officer, I have a duty to make sure no misunderstandings arise between you. Uh, it's all right, Eula. We get it. You're just looking after him. Wait, Eula, did you just pay for my portion too? I was supposed to pay for mine separately. I'm not an official member of the reconnaissance company. <sighs> if you want to get official about it, then fine. It's officially my treat. There, now stop worrying. The gay, the, the gay, the, the gay, the gay oh, shit. Thanks. They're super gay. Honorary knight, Paimon, I have the most wonderful news. Oh? Thanks to your sterling efforts, the funds we've raised in this charity sale have blown our original predictions right out of the water. It's a phenomenal success. Paimon told you so. We're good at this stuff. I suppose. Great work, everyone. Uh, but you two deserve all the credit. 
It's your expert management that made this event. I just was. increased quality. I over all the to the <laughs> that, that's all you can do. Just increase funds. the quality. That, In real life, that's a, a little bit harder to As do. As a gesture of our appreciation, we'd like to give you both a fee for all your hard work. You've more than earned it. After this, I feel like I could even run a shop of my own in the future. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the chance to work together one day. Maybe. It feels like we accomplished a lot together. If the chance ever comes up, let's do it again. I'd love to. I would love to run a shop or even help people run a shop in this case. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be calling it here. I intended at first to cover more than just this one section of the event, but it ended up taking a lot longer than I expected. I'm sure I could have done a little bit more, but I'm just calling it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Genshin, because I'm actually planning to record more Genshin this week. Um, have a good rest of you guys' day. Love you guys. See ya. And goodbye. <laughs>